Hey, housemates, wanna play Lego Creationary? The name is a portmanteau of creation and Pictionary because like in Pictionary, we'll be given a topic or concept and we have to create that thing in Lego. Oh, dude, I love Lego, woohoo. I'm gonna build something. Okay. I gotta disseminate a relationship real quick. Here's three facts about my terrific friend, Doug. Fact number one, he has the channel Do To Bricks, where he talks about and shows off his amazing Lego collection. Doug knows more about Lego than I will ever know about anything. Fact number two, he's one of the coolest dudes I know. Uh, we've been playing D&D together for years and he still manages to come up with stuff that amazes me in his creativity and cleverness. And fact number three, he gave me the inspiration for this video. We were talking and his love of Lego reminded me of this gem of a game. So here we are. I think it'd be cool to do a collaboration video with him sometime. Yeah, we'll see. Anyway, there've been like a bunch of Lego games. Board Game Geek enumerates at least 75 at the moment. And you know, I would say a lot of them are not the best game you'll ever play. Many are like roll and move games with the novelty of rebuilding the Lego bricks to modify the board. And that's pretty cool. But Creationary is something else. It's basically a game of fiddling with Lego bits until you make something recognizable. Or sometimes, not all that recognizable. Mm. Mm. On our turn, we draw a card and pick one of these things to build. The cards have all these nice colorful pictures and it's not language dependent, which is, you know, pretty cool. Now you say on our turn, but realistically, probably a couple of people can start building at the same time. It might take a little time to come up with a good design. So overlapping turns may help the easily distracted. Just, you know, don't hoard all the good bits. Oh yeah, don't bogart the bits. The first thing we realize when we start playing is that there are not enough good bits. Oh, there's a wonderful assortment of Lego pieces, sure. But there are not a lot of really specialized pieces. There's one standard mini uh, Lego minifig, but we're not really given much in the way of tools to hold or use. This is because, in short, we'll spend most of the game building those things, and probably not very well. Now, some might suggest, hey, why not use your own Lego collection and some old Pictionary cards? You know, and I actually kind of thought about it. I think my own collection of Lego parts and pieces are gonna to be too specialized. So I have a number of Lego sets and all the stuff in those sets usually looks like it came in a specific set. But the parts we're given in Creationary are nicely generic. A bunch of basic blocks, big and small and a variety of colors, ideal for making a lot of things, but not too keyed in on one concept or set. Although I did lobby to add some extra pieces, you can never have enough of part number 6018774. Am I right? Well, I can't argue with that. But I think an important aspect of the game is that there aren't really enough specialized bits. You have to think creatively. Okay, so who's the game for? Well, the box says ages seven and up, and that's true. But like many Lego sets, there's plenty here for adults to get into. Heck, you could probably play a solo game for speed, or you know, leave the box out at parties and let people just tinker about. It's that kind of game. Of course, if you like order and rules, then we take turns drawing cards, and whoever guesses the build correctly holds the card as their score. We'll play a number of rounds, and the winner is... Honestly, who cares? We get to sit around and play with Lego bits with our, with our friends. Some people will be better at it, but everyone will have some fun. Most definitely. Housemates, I'll see you at the game table. What is this? The Starship Enterprise? Yes, made out of roast beef sandwiches. <laughs> you said be creative. <laughs> All right, that's enough of that. <laughs>